Hello, I'm Dr. Janelle Waldrop. Thank you so much for letting me join your class and talk a little bit about the study abroad programs at San Francisco State. So just really quickly, a few basic facts about our programs. Number one is that it actually can be similar or even cheaper to study abroad than staying at San Francisco State. This is because students on study abroad, they pay the same tuition. The difference is the cost of living. San Francisco is horrifyingly expensive. Students go abroad and they're like, wait a second, not everyone pays these high rents. Even in London, I have students coming back and saying, yeah, it was kind of expensive there, but not as expensive as San Francisco. So definitely consider studying abroad because you're paying the same tuition. The difference is the cost of living and most programs are similar or even cheaper than being at San Francisco State. And the good news is if you have financial aid, it goes with you. So any financial aid you have except for work study goes with you. It can pay for things like your airfare, your housing deposit, everything it takes to establish you in that country. You can depend upon your financial aid at, like you do at San Francisco State. Also, students apply for scholarships. San Francisco State is actually a leader in the United States for the number of federally funded scholarships our students get. I'm not gonna go into all those details just here because you can find them on our website under the budget page, as well as at one of our budget sessions. But I do wanna mention my favorite scholarship. If you're a Pell Grant recipient and a US citizen, apply for the Benjamin A. Gilman International Scholarship. That can definitely be a helpful um, in making study abroad even more affordable than being at San Francisco State. Not only do we think study abroad is affordable and cheaper than sometimes than staying at San Francisco State, but you can make some or even better degree progress because the coursework overseas is SF State credit. It's going to come back and appear on your transcript just like you took at San Francisco State. Why not take another country? Don't get me wrong, San Francisco is lovely, but it's not the same as being able to jump on a train and be in Berlin, Paris, London for the weekend. What are you doing here? Let's get you out of the country so you can be traveling around the weekend and make similar or better degree progress. I say better degree progress because it can be hard to get classes at San Francisco State. That's actually not true overseas. It's actually much easier and you get a better priority registration overseas than you do oftentimes at San Francisco State. And so you can study abroad for your major, minor, GEs, or a learned language. Every major in San Francisco State has at least one option, if not more. You can study abroad in English and make degree progress. Maybe you're like, okay, those are interesting. What else you got? Consider minor. Um, or go save those upper or lower division GEs or do a language. You can go abroad as soon as your sophomore year as a sophomore and go abroad for your lower division GEs or learn language. If you are or will be a junior or senior, definitely be applying for all the academic goals, major, minor, GEs, learn language. And we do have some programs for graduate students. A great place to start is our website. We have a brand new website. So if you haven't checked it out before, check it out, studyabroad.sfsu.edu. A lot of helpful resources, especially under that section, preparing for study abroad. I really recommend that section called Getting Started. Just will map it out, give you a nice roadmap of everything you need to know to apply for study abroad. You can also attend an information meeting. This will go over this and more and really help you find the right program that is best for you. Um, but for today, right now, I'm gonna briefly show you our search programs, which is under our SF State Abroad database. This can be a really fun tool to be clicking on now as you can start fantasizing which of those 30 plus countries might I be studying abroad in? And that can be fun to play around. What if I go here for my major, my minor? GEs, learn language. So play around this with this drop down list and search different programs and see what comes up. And a great way to also kind of think about where you might go is to talk to international students, where we're sending students, we're receiving students. So you can ask students from that country right now who are in San Francisco about their home universities. So there's ways to meet with them virtually in person. A great way to both virtually meet with them is the study abroad Facebook page on their Instagram. So definitely follow them and see what they're up to this semester. Also check out the blog site, sfstateabroad.com. You can search by programs, countries, and just read about what students are saying about their programs. Also follow us on Instagram at sfstateabroad. We are gonna do have takeovers. So we do have students abroad right now. 
who are going to be posting about their experience in Trash Law Education Week in November. Do mark your calendar. Or this is going to have a two weeks worth of events that are just going to be really phenomenal to help you plan for study abroad, but also think about what you might want to do after graduation. So just going to highlight a couple of them. One is that, you know, we do have the in-person IEC study abroad fair or on November 2nd and November 3rd. So this is a great way to meet students in person, talk to them, but there's also going to be lots of virtual events. So for example, we do have the State Department and Peace Corps that's going to be hosting virtual events and a session on November 5th. I really recommend everyone attending budgeting for study abroad. Like I said, it's often cheaper, but here's some really great tips and recommendations of how to put together a budget, look for scholarships, etc. So you don't want to miss that session as well. So this and more can be found on the IEW or Trash Education Week website, oip.sfsu.edu forward slash IEW. Right now we are accepting applications for fall 2022 and academic year 2022-2023. Um, the Waseda program in Japan and the Trostica Music program do have an earlier one and done deadline of January 15th, but all other programs have a priority deadline of February 1st. Now really is the best time to be looking into programs, playing the what if game. What if I go here? What if I go there? Um, what if I take these classes at San Francisco State in the spring and I save these classes for study abroad? This can be really helpful to start thinking about that this semester, working on an application. It's online, it's free, just takes a little bit of your time and definitely aim for the priority deadline. But we do have a final deadline of March 1st. What that means is if a program is very popular, it might close with the February 1st. So if you're interested in one of our top countries like the UK, um, Japan, or Korea, definitely aim for the priority deadline, but there's still gonna be tons of programs open with the final deadline of March 1st. So just something to keep in mind as you're thinking about planning for study abroad. If you want to talk to an advisor or get more help, the next step is to attend an information meeting. We have these virtually, um, so you can attend one on the Zoom. Just sign up on our website. If they're on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, afterwards we do have phone and Zoom advising, where you can speak one on one with one of the study abroad advisors, and we'd be delighted to help you find your right program. More information is found on our website, studyabroad.sfsu.edu or email us studyabroad at sfsu.edu. Look forward to virtually uh, seeing you very soon and helping you have your dreams of studying abroad come true.